I think the camp has been a huge success. We have 68 kids, only four have played before. Um, two played this year, two played last year, um, and it's, it's amazing how quickly these kids have kind of come up to speed. We, we kind of submerge them completely into the game of lacrosse with history, um, stick tech, stick tricks, all the skills, we played a lot of games, uh, we watched a lot of skills movies. It's been a complete immersion this week. I was a little nervous first, and then I got into it, and I met some new people. I met some people from my school. Well, it's been really fun. It's a learning experience. It's just out here having fun with my friends, pretty much. Passing. I like to like pass, and so teamwork and passing. And so that's how you score a goal and make points and win. Well, it's kind of like all of them combined because it's a lot like soccer and then it's a lot of soccer and hockey just combined. It's nice. Lacrosse is typically an East Coast sport and it's huge out there. And in a lot of cases, there's more lacrosse players in those states than there are football players. Um, that's the case in Indiana, I know. And it's, it's just kind of growing and moving kind of from the coasts inward. Um, We've had, last summer we did a, a pilot lacrosse program for hockey players to do off-season training is all it was. And it kind of took on a life of its own, so we thought we'd try to run with it. And this year with our first official season for Sioux Falls Lacrosse, we had 74 kids sign up and play. We had uh, 13 adults sign up and play in an adult league. And now we have 64 brand new players here who I hope will sign up and play lacrosse in the future. It's a fast moving sport, it's very engaging. Um, the kids are always moving around, the, the ball is moving a lot. Um, there's always a lot of activity and engagement, especially with battles um, and passing. There's a lot of uh, finesse play. There's a lot of contact as you get into older ages. Um, it's a, but they call it the fastest game on two feet because it truly is that ball can get moving up to 100 miles an hour in some of the higher levels. And it's just, uh, it's just amazing. It's always moving. It's always fun. Um, and it's, there's, there's 10 players on a team for boys, 12 for girls. So there's a lot of action and it's just a lot to keep track of. So it's almost caters to the uh, the shorter attention spans. Native Americans started it. They had it like, it's almost as if they'd go through ceremonies to a battle and then they'd play lacrosse. So it's pretty cool. If parents are wanting something for their kids to do in the off season for another sport, say hockey or basketball or football or soccer, lacrosse is the perfect sport because it, it, can, it all the skills you learn in lacrosse transfer directly to the other sports that they play. There's contact, um, like football, there's uh, a lot of running and endurance like soccer. Um, hockey has a, a really close relationship because of the stick work and uh, finesse and the ball movement. Um, so it's, it's a fantastic training sport, but it's also a lot of fun. So we, just the idea is just to get more people aware that Sioux Falls Lacrosse is, is here and uh, it's an option for the kids to play. Today is the last day of our camp. We're actually doing um, game day all day long. So if we turn, around, turn it back here to the, left, to the right, we have a game called Chumash, where the net is actually in the middle of the field. And the teams have to take it back to a line, shoot in the, on the side of the goal that they take it back to, and vice versa. Uh, we have, back here we have uh, some four by four posts. And those are actually representative of the creator's game. The lacrosse was actually originated in Native American history and culture. And they used to play it to please the creator. And all they would do is put a post or a tree at the end of two, a very large field. We've, we've shortened it obviously because they're kids. Um, and the goal was just to hit the post. So the two games in the middle are their creator's game. Um, there's really not many rules per se as far as positioning and stuff, but it's, uh, you know, Native American cultures used to use that to uh, settle disputes um, and do uh, train their warriors for battle in cases. And the game on the far end with the two, the two goals is a traditional lacrosse game that you would see anywhere else. It's got three zones, an attack zone, a defensive zone, and a midfield zone. It's uh, eight on eight or nine on nine. You can only have a certain number of players on one half of the field at a time. So that's more traditional when they, what they would see if they played lacrosse in Sioux Falls. So we're just really trying to immerse them into all the different versions of lacrosse that they can play. Um, trying to help share the tradition and, and history and culture of lacrosse because it's, it's one of the, it's, it's America's oldest and fastest growing sport. It's got more history and culture and tradition than, than a lot of other sports. And uh, we're just trying to share all of that with these kids. I'd say it's a fun sport to play. Even if you don't like sports, it'd be fun. Because I really didn't have a sport to connect to until lacrosse. 